Hello and welcome to the How Not to Screw Up Your Kids podcast, the bucket emptying episodes. So pour yourself a cuppa, find a comfy seat and enjoy the conversation. I'm your host, Dr. Mary Han, psychologist and parenting expert. And in today's bucket emptying episode, I want to talk about something that will help you as a parent. And that's about knowing your weaknesses and your vulnerabilities. Let me explain. Now, this podcast episode is probably going to be coming out in the school holidays when we as parents are juggling multiple things. Now, whether you're working full time, part time or you are fully occupied within your home, caring for your family or even other people in your family beyond your young children, you're going to be juggling a huge amount. So we all do that on a regular basis. And knowing our weaknesses and our vulnerabilities is a really crucial part to knowing and understanding where we tend to be inconsistent. So children thrive, children and teenagers thrive from a very consistent approach and particularly around a consistent approach around boundaries. In the school holidays, it tends to be amplified because there's a relaxation of the rules generally and we're then in a situation where our children aren't away from home for a certain aspect certain part of the day and we are suddenly then juggling everything all of the time if we know our weaknesses if we know our vulnerabilities we can then prepare for that so let me just give you some specific examples, because this is all sort of predicated on this notion that you have some form of regular reflective practice. I talk about this a huge amount. I talk about it in terms of my morning routine and the shine practice. I talk about it quite often in the longer episodes that get released on a Thursday. It's all about knowing yourself and being able to reflect on how you're parenting. Because what typically happens with parenting is that we're stuck in autopilot, yeah? We do the same thing over and over again. Not because we're careless, not because we don't care, but simply time is so short, or it feels like it, that we often don't have a chance to get off that treadmill and step back and take that reflective view. Think about it just from the perspective of navigating. If you're going somewhere you don't know, If you've had a chance to have a look at the map or the sat nav or just have a bit of an idea about the route, it gives you so much more foresight in advance of where the challenges might particularly be rather than being presented with the directions in that moment and then having to deal with them. And that's really what I'm suggesting in terms of the reflective practice. So when we take ourselves off five, 10 minutes regularly, ideally daily, if not, then do it at least once a week, to look at where those challenges might be. It's so much easier to pick up on where our vulnerabilities are. So for example, one of my huge vulnerabilities is when I'm tired and when I've got too many things going on. And so when I reflect in the past around being consistent with my children in terms of the way that we'd agreed for there to be specific consequences of things, certain patterns of behaviour, certain responsibilities, certain obligations, certain contributions towards the home, they have slid and I've let them slide and I've been inconsistent when I've been tired and when I have been so busy that I've been juggling multiple things. Now, That doesn't necessarily mean that understanding it in itself is going to change it, but understanding it means, and knowing it in advance means that you can potentially put in some systems in order to avoid those vulnerabilities and those inconsistencies. So it may well be that you know that maybe you're the same as me, maybe your vulnerability is about being super busy and tired, is that you might then start putting things in place in terms of maybe sharing particularly if it's in in a holiday, sharing childcare with a really great friend who your children get on with so that you then agree on Tuesday, you're going to have their children all day. And on Thursday, they're going to have yours. So what then happens is that that creates the space for you and there can be that bit more of that consistency. So it's just really crucial to understand where our vulnerabilities lie. Where do we tend to go off piste? Where do we tend to be inconsistent? Because it's usually when those things happen in that autopilot that we tend to find ourselves in, that we then realise three, 
four weeks down the road, maybe three or four months down the road, that we've that something has then inevitably been created. Maybe our children have now got in the habit of requiring us to help them self-soothe when it comes to going to bed because we've been so tired and we've been so busy. It's just simply easier to lie with them and let them go to sleep. Maybe we're so busy in holidays that actually having them on devices for a longer time than we would normally do is just we we kind of ignore that or we just just allow that to happen because we don't have the energy or we're so caught up in what we need to do we just say well it's it's okay it's not you know it's not going to be an issue today it'll be fine and then tomorrow and then the day after but we find at the end of the holidays we're then unraveling an inconsistent application of the rules. So these are the scenarios that I'm really talking about and why it's so crucial to understand and know your specific weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And if you're co-parenting in the same home, what your partner's vulnerabilities and weaknesses are. Because usually I find they're not the same. So you can kind of help each other out when your weaknesses and vulnerabilities kick in, your partners don't. So it's all about understanding, which is the reflective piece, but it's then also about the communication and then the action of, if I know that these are my vulnerabilities, if I know that in that lead up over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, that I will have a tendency to be less consistent. What might I put in place preventatively rather than unraveling the issue at the other end? And quite often, you know, one of the classic ones that, we're, that most of us tend to have to unravel at the end of any form of holiday is consistency around bedtimes because we allow that that becomes a bit of a rubber band and elastic where bedtime just gets stretched significantly longer. But because that is probably a band that gets sort of stretched quite often, we probably usually find that easier to print, to bring, bring back in because we're, we're consistent with that one. But it's just being aware that whole reflective piece is a huge bucket emptying for us because if we're aware of that, we can then put things in place. And the preventative bit is so much easier, so much easier than actually dealing with the issue at the end. So I hope that that's going to land with a lot of you as this as this episode becomes live, but also for those of you who find this episode later, and it isn't a holiday, school holiday, but it's just a really useful strategy. As ever, if you have enjoyed this episode and the other episodes in the How Not to Screw Up Your Kids podcast series, I would be so grateful if you could rate, follow and review this podcast so that others can find us and we can spread the love. So until next time.